Yabojo, when his own judgment will come, it will come from God and we suffer. He will suffer and die. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sama. So in this video, I want to share with you guys about this uh, Nigerian uh, Yoruba actress. I think he's, she's only acted Yoruba movies. I wouldn't have known much about her until this whole thing was going on. She's only Yoruba movies. I'm not very sure, but she's an actress anyway in Nigeria. And uh, that has been speaking up about... Um, there's somebody they call Baba Ijecha. I can link some of the videos because I don't want to go into all of that. She has been one person that has been very, very vocal about Baba Ijecha. And then there's this man, I think he's a native doctor. I'm not very sure what he is anyways. He's, but I think he's a native doc doctor or something like that. That said that uh, Yaba Ujo's life was going to end. So basically, there was something that happened and there was this other Yoruba actor. Uh, this Yoruba actor that was accused of... Um, how do I say it now? I don't know how to phrase it. Tampering with a child's innocence. That's the best way I can put it. And this child was a 14-year-old uh, girl. There was video evidence. And uh, so people would say he didn't go all the way, but he, was the, he didn't go all the way. But from what we saw, there was a bit of a process going on there. And there was an opera. So people would support him. They say he didn't go all the way, so it doesn't matter. He was only at the starters. If you know what I mean? He was he has not gone to the main course. He was only at the status. So some people feel like until you do, until you get to the main course, is not yet uh, an offense. That's what some people feel. But anyways, so uh, because of a lot of people, unfortunately, a lot of Nigerians are supported by Jasha for what he did. You know, there were a lot of them. And uh, this actress, Yaba Ujo, has been standing for this girl. And like standing justice for the girl standing to make sure that baba yesha gets what he deserves and she has been very vocal about it she was always on instagram making instagram live videos and uploading videos and speaking up about what he baba yesha did and everything unfortunately there are some people that do not support her for the for fighting for the young girl and uh, and if you think about it, that's all she has done is trying to speak up and fight for this young girl this girl is not even related to her she's just using her platform as a well-known actress to, to fight for this girl and to be vocal about it. Then this man, who I, I think is a herbalist or babala or whatever, came up and spoke and said uh, Yabo Joe's life was going to end or something like that. I'll let you guys listen to what he had to say. Uh, Yabo Joe has done a lot of things with men. He has slept with so many men. Yes. He has slept with so many men. When his own judgment will come, it will come from God and we suffer. He will suffer and die. Ah, that is about you. We suffer and die. Watch him. Now, from here is uh, from here to uh, Abuja. Where is he going at Abuja? What business does he have Abuja? He's selling Toto. Toto loan Takaki. Because uh, Baba Jesha did not settle him and the other woman very well. That's why they use that one to tarnish him. They don't tarnish him, man. Eh? God will surely turn it that uh, Yabo Ojo, he will suffer. Watch it. Oh, but what she's fighting for is rights in my own opinion because he said she's fighting against child molestation. Oh. You know what I find disappointing is the fact that if you think about it, Yabo Ojo has actually not done anything wrong. All she has done is trying to be a voice for someone that has no voice. Nigeria is a country where if you are nobody or the child of nobody, you may not get justice. And she is trying to be the somebody for a nobody. If you make if you if you get what i mean and she is being she's not the, she's not the only this is not the only person that's attacked her there'll be some other men some other people that have attacked her you know for fighting for you know being the voice for the voiceless you know speaking up for those that cannot speak up for themselves you know standing up for this girl that is that is yabo joe's crime as far as i know that is her crime and even in the interview you can hear the guy interviewing saying you know but she's doing something right but anyways he wished her that her, her life was going to end and stuff like that and he ended up um from reports his life his own life ended up ending and the yabo ujo is still alive and well by the grace of god and i wanted to speak about it because on one hand it is sad how i was you know it was one of the things that i found shocking and really sad is how many people are willing to stand up and speak up for babai jesha you know st stand by him for what he has done and it makes me believe that a lot of people are in situations like that like him so it, it's sad to see that there are actually some people that do not see anything wrong in what he has done done and they'll be like okay yes he did it and so what they do, do not realize how big or how wrong what he has done is or how big what what the wrong thing he has done is or how wrong he, what he had done is that is on one hand and then it makes you 
worry about a lot of our Nigerian girls. I begin to feel that there must be a lot of men that do it. That is why some men see nothing wrong with it because uh -huh, as long as she has you know, anyways, I don't want to go into all of that. And at the same time, I want to speak about our culture of you disagree with somebody on a topic or a subject or whatever. And the next thing our people do, do is wish the person evil, wish them their end, you know, whatever. Our people do that a lot. They do that a lot. Like I make videos. I come here and make videos about a lot of stuff. So as someone that makes videos and uh, I address a lot of stuff and I speak about corruption in churches and I... Like I always say, I back it. I back these things with the, what the Bible says and stuff like that. But there are these people that are strong followers of these pastors, not followers of Christ. Because if you stand or you're a follower of Christ, you should be able to say the truth regardless. But the followers of a lot of these pastors that will come and curse you out, curse you out and curse you out, and they claim to be followers of Christ. No, they are followers of their pastors. I've always said it that God is above every pastor. If something has been discussed, remember that before you honor and respect your pastor, regardless of what he's done, remember that there is someone that is higher and mightier than your pastor, and that is God. You should be, your priority should be to please God, not your pastor. Who is your pastor? Who is he before God? He is a nobody before God. And bodies will come and they curse out and they say, I have got people. What well, people don't know. You only got to know me now on YouTube. And I have been addressing topics like this. If nobody knew me. They come on YouTube and they see me. I've only been on YouTube for three years or whatever. And they be like, I have been on these things for a long time. I remember one time I made the post on a, on a, on a page on, uh, on Facebook. And this person was like, I give you 72 hours. I, you know, and the thing is, they don't care you're quoting the Bible. What, are you saying? what you're saying is correct. They don't care. How dare you speak about my pastor? How dare you? Because this is... Okay, I won't go into it. Somebody came once and gave me 72 hours. And he said, I gave you 72 hours. For what? For speaking what is in the Bible. And I said, okay, no problem. I said, can we both come back in 72 hours to see how we are? 72 hours came and this person never turned up. I came down and I, and I made another post and I said, I'm waiting. This was on a, a page on, on Facebook. Uh, this person never, never came. And I don't know what happened, whether they are still alive or not. I, I'm not going to come here and say they are not alive or whatever. But maybe they never came because they were too ashamed to show their faces. Because they were surprised to see that I'm still standing. I made a post uh, yesterday where I, I actually read it on my community page on Facebook, on YouTube. I quoted Isaiah 5.20. I said, woe to those, because some people now stand by, some people are now calling evil good. Good is evil. They will curse you out for saying, look at what the Bible says. I'm saying, but it's the Bible I'm showing. They don't care. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Who put darkness for light and light for darkness. Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for and then I said, while you continue to wish someone evil for saying it as it is, remember this, even death is like roll call. When your name is called, your time is up. You may be called before me, I may be called before you, but last, last, we shall all be called at some point. You understand? Our lives will end at some point. Before you are telling somebody, wishing them evil, you may end up leaving this earth before them. They try to put fear in you. They try to intimidate you from speaking the word of God. The Bible never said it's going to be easy. Jesus made it clear. If they hated him, how much more you? He said they hated him. They will hate you too. And at the end of the day, let me tell you, for those that keep coming and wishing me evil, the evil you are wishing, especially, they always come for and wish somebody death and all of those things. We are all going to die. You know, we're all, if, as long as Jesus tarries, we're all going to die. I may end up dying before you, but you may die before me. But even if I drop dead today, it doesn't change the fact that, like I said, death is like a, a roll call. Our names, when your name is called, your time is up. Even if I'm called first, or my time is up, doesn't change the fact that you will be called at some point. Some of the people you wish evil and you wish them dead may end up living longer than you, living longer than you that is wishing them evil. Be careful what you voice with your mouth. Was it not during COVID? If I'm not mistaken, there was this politician that died, and this other politician went to for condolence visit and everything. And uh, you won't believe it or not, the, the this other politician ended up dying and being buried. I think he is a Muslim. You know the way they bury fast. He ended up dying and being buried before. The person he went to pay condolence visit to. We don't know these things. Look at this. That was what came to my mind when I heard about this Yabo Joe, that this uh, uh, Babalawo, whoever this man was telling him, was ended up dying 
and Yabu Ujo is still alive. Be careful what you say with your mouth. Be careful. And it's more shocking when you see people that claim to be Christians, wishing people death and and some evil things and cursing. You see, some people don't realize. You know why you guys don't see? You know why you guys may not see a lot of the cursing? I've gone past the stage where I exchange with people that are like I waste my energy on people that come and curse out. I say, if they curse out, I block them. That's why you don't see them. Or else I don't see the comment. If I see the comment, I block them. They, they come on a red daily basis they come and they will curse and curse they can curse your father and do, uh, now when i see that comment it seems they cannot be matured enough to have a conversation and discuss bible topics and so then treat them like children block them they can't comment anymore they can watch that's one thing some people say don't block them so they can still watch no when you block people on youtube they can still see the videos they can read all the comments but they cannot engage in the comment section that is what they get since they cannot be matured enough to behave themselves treat them like children like i don't you know that's why you may not see a lot of those those kind of comments anymore there were times when i used to be like okay but now i don't do that anymore no, i just do it because i find that people that you that waste that come in the comment section and they curse curse and then people start exchanging with them they are just distractions that are not needed Let's focus on those that are actually interested in dialogue and exchanging to rob minds when it comes to the things of God. Anyways, like I said, when I saw that, I thought to myself, you know, to imagine that someone that was telling somebody that they are going, their end or whatever, wishing them their end to come or whatever, ended up, I'm not even sure if it was up to two weeks or whatever, after he said that, that he ended up losing his own life, you know? So at the end of the day, you know, there's something they say in my language, eh? Madra Abuchi, Madra Abuchi, man, man no be God. That's pidgin English, man is not God humans are not gods at the end of the day it's left for you to be careful what you say with your mouth because you don't know how sometimes you actually be the one to bring a calamity upon yourself upon your own life because of the words that you say you know because of the words that you say and as i saw that i wanted to come and share it hopefully those that have ears would hear hopefully because that you can't force them all you can do is just say the words and hopefully they can listen and they can hear you know as always, I'm just going to come here and say it. It's left for people to. I always say there are two options in every advice. Option one is to take it. And option two is to leave it. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.